All right, here's a quick tutorial on something I think is a little bit less known. Um, when using, it's using SketchUp to create brushes for UDK Editor or Unreal Editor um, to create world geometry. I think using the Unreal Editor is a little bit uh, difficult uh, and slow to create world geometry. Maybe if you're really good at it, you can get very quick, but uh, for beginners, it's definitely not the easiest way to do things. This extension here is hskp2unr.rb and currently the where you're supposed to download it is down. The blog is gone. So I'm going to try and host it on my Google Docs for people to download if they want uh, for the time being. I did have to Google, I had to Google around for it for a while to find a, a, an Italian site. You might be able to find another site pretty quickly on Google um, by searching that exact name. See if you can find a download for it somewhere. But uh, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to do that. So. Let's go ahead and scale SketchUp down so that it's in my screens. And we'll pretty much, I'll go through creating a simple geometry in SketchUp for those of you that aren't that familiar with SketchUp. I will hate doing it in the small interface, but this is a, just a little room I created and we're going to show you how to make your own room and things to avoid um, when doing that. So. I'm not going to be nearly as precise as I was with that one, but let's go ahead and for SketchUp, first thing you want to do if you're exporting to Unreal is we're going to create a nice little, and I don't care if it's round or if it's square, I guess. We're just going to go ahead and create that. And the first thing you're going to do is do a push pull of, let's say, a foot. This gives you a nice square. Never, ever, ever export flat surfaces. Like if you just drew a rectangle and then drew stuff on top of it to like, uh, make your your nice little floor plan and all that, and tried to export just the sorry just the flat surface like that. That will not go over well. Um, so always want to have square surfaces. And w since we're doing this for a game engine, we're going to want to try and keep this um, as little confusion and intricacy as possible to help help it with. Although it is BSP, so we don't have to be too concerned about it. But essentially there's our nice little surface and then the next thing obviously we're going to do offset of say a foot as well. I like to keep things sort of sort of the same. And we're going to go ahead and make our little triangles. This is our little rooms right here. I usually would measure these out and I would be drawing it with like the tape measure and the regular pencil and like measuring off of off of an endpoint. Usually what you, oh, let me throw this in there. Usually what you do to create this is you right click on this and then you do divide and you divide by, you can like if you move your mouse right and left it'll do more. I would divide by four segments, click on there and then I would select each segment. Now, I don't know of an easy way to do this. If someone does, I'm not a SketchUp expert, but if someone does it'd be great. And I click on, oh, <laughs> I go and I go to the endpoint and I measure off six inches on each side and then draw a, a nice little wall there. And that's the fastest way I know of to do it. I wish there was a way to, because if you draw rectangles, it'll draw from where you're doing. It won't let you do like I want this middle line to be straddling the midpoint, the the endpoint that I'm selecting. But whatever. So so there's that, and now I just created extra vertices in there that I don't actually want. So control Z to undo and that creates one line. You don't need those extra cuts in the line. Then we're going to go ahead and draw one more just for the heck of it. And then what we can do is grab the eraser tool, erase, 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 um, and that erases it and then this will push pull it up. Look at that. You have a room with, and I added little side things on there, but that's essentially how you create it in SketchUp. And then just make sure you don't have any extra lines or weird little things going on. You always want to keep it very nice because once you get in the game engine, you want to be able to make sure that there's no extra crap that the game engine has to refer or to uh, render. So we're going to go ahead and just delete that because I don't care. 
and then we have our little model here. And once the plugin, once you download it, it's pretty simple to install SketchUp plugins. Just copy it into your C drive program files of x86 because you probably have a 64 bit system. SketchUp, and I think it's like plugins, just drop the RB file on there. Boom, you're done. We're going to go to plugins, and they actually have some really nice ones. And the nice thing is, it also does PSK and ASE and OBJ, which I'm not too familiar with yet, but PSK and ASE are uh, apparently easily import into Unreal Editor. So those are valuable. The T3D format is what we're worried about now because this exports it as a brush. So, and I just leave every single thing the same way it is. I don't change a thing. Uh, UT3, that's fine. Hit OK. And then we're just going to do Dungeon First Room. Sure, we'll save it. And it'll tell you this nice little thing there. We don't care. And I always have UDK not running because it seems like if it's running and I try and import something I just exported, it does not go well. It, uh, it seems to crash UDK every single time. In fact, I've never had it work correctly uh, that way. So I always close UDK and reopen it. And then I've never had any issues with importing it. So let's go ahead and create, create it so they can see it all well and great. I have a 28 inch screen and I do these tutorials down. So, all right, file import into new map first room hit OK now the first thing you're gonna notice is hey there's a whole lot of lines I thought you said we were optimizing this yes we do we're gonna click on this geometry mode right here we're gonna hit optimize we're gonna hit close we're gonna go back and look at it and hey look at that it looks like it optimized it pretty well if you had a flat plane at the bottom here instead of this this block you would have a million and a half lines all going back to this this edge right here so that's why you don't want those those flat edges and that SketchUp does um, flat faces I should say one-dimensional no two-dimensional technically anyway um, so now that you have that there and you're like okay great let's go ahead and CSG add oh wait no no it's not a brush guys get over yourself so what you're gonna do is you're gonna oh, right right click boy right click on not a vertice and then we're gonna go ahead and Actually, I lied. We're going to go ahead and select everything. Okay, I probably had it all selected then, but just want to make sure. And then polygons to brush. And it turns rather like your nice little builder brush because it is your builder brush now. You hit um, CSG add, and then bam. And now we're going to look at that and say, hey, that's that's the actual thing I made right there. But we'll notice the issue in just a quick second. So we're going to go ahead and do add actor and add light point. Boom, boom. Alt drag, boom. That's two little light points. Move it over just to. Cabron. All right. Oops. Excuse my Spanish. All right. So that's fine and dandy. We're going to rebuild the light. We're not going to use light mass. We're going to hit OK. I don't want it to take forever. Rebuild that. And then we're going to say, um, let me go to view, uh, world properties, game type, just because I want it that way. So, deathmatch, close, boom, play from here. I like, oh, what's. And uh, <laughs> just so you know, this model was made eight feet tall, um, you know, foot wide. Uh, walls and I think it was like uh, I think I had uh, nine foot nine foot rooms nine feet from side to side four feet doorways and you're like well this this really doesn't look like the scale I want it to be well yeah you're right it just doesn't import that correctly obviously though the way to fix that let's go back out of there if you could see that but um, Hold on just a second. Um, what we're going to, I see you could probably only see a quarter of that gameplay, but whatever. Good enough. Um, get the point, it's too small. Just double check the sizing on that. Anyway, uh, the point is, you're like, well, that's just not going to work for me. So go ahead and let's just select this, select this, throw those over there, and then we're going to go ahead and. Um, 
Delete that. Uh, we'll be uh, we'll rebuild uh, rebuild the geometry. Hey yo, there we go. It's all gone. Hey ho, cheerio. We're gonna go back here. We're gonna scroll this way. And what you ideally should do now is find out how tall a player is. Throw down a player reference point and then scale this up until it looks you know exactly right. Um, or what you could do is in SketchUp, obviously you could start. Um, using different values, um, but who wants to do that? And the nice thing about this is that you're exporting brushes, so you can do it room by room. You know, brush this brush, add this brush in, CSG add each room as you go, you know, scale it if you wanted to. Um, but let's just go ahead, hit spacebar twice, and scale it up a little bit. And say, hey, let's go ahead and do a CSG add. And now it's going to be a little bit bigger. And I don't care, let's just rebuild. Oh, why is it not letting me do that? Why, there we go. Why is it? Holy cow, my light mask thing got, or a rebuild light thing got just stuck under something. Alright, whatever, we're done. Let's play from here. And as we can see, now seems to be about the right size. Although maybe we want to consider making these rooms just a little bit bigger in actual SketchUp. They seem to be a little small. But they're just going to be starting points for four players. That's my plan at least. So Great lighting over here as you can tell. Probably should have spread those lights out a little bit. But, but all they're going to be is starting boxes. So probably doesn't need to be that big. Boom, they can walk right here. They're supposed to... Yeah. Anyway. As you can see, that's the easy, the easiest way I know of to get SketchUp models uh, into UDK. And I think SketchUp is so much quicker, I think, in my opinion, than building BSP brushes in here. So, all right, that's about it.